Uh, this is a day we waited for for quite a while. I wanted to have a full day to do a test on these foot pegs that we swapped out in the last time we did an FCR restoration video. They feel real comfortable. I was able to do something that I didn't know I was going to be able to easily to do is there's an Allen bolt behind and it allows you to rotate. So I try to sit on a bike with my foot in position that I normally would be in and then get the rubber, the flat part of the rubber to kind of mimic that shape. Seems to have worked out okay. I want to put the bike here on a stand and just again say, yep, that really feels, feels like it's going to be nice. And again, this was not a big giant issue that I had. It was the things I'm working on with the motorcycle now, little things, the levers, the mirror, the mirrors are a big thing. And the foot peg, the little buzz in the foot peg, uh, it, all of these things. But because basically once this bike is finished and we're very close to having it finished, a couple of more little details, the brake lines, basically the big one. Then it goes into the rotation as a normal, you know, he, he gets the pitch every Thursday night or whatever. I don't know. And then we have to really start to get ready for our project for this winter, which we haven't really finalized yet. And the big thing that's coming up is Luciano is, of course, out of the hospital. He's back home and he's already got his Ducati that, that was in the accident, kind of ripped apart. He's got parts ordered, and I don't know how much I'm going to be able to help him with that project. We'll see. But anyway, today's our lucky day. We're going to get out on the open road. We're going to go uh, water the zinnias and feed the fish and drink some coffee and uh, pat, you know. I, I don't know what else we have to do around here. Karen has a, always has a list in the morning before I head out, and I'm happy to do it. Because I like coming home from that ride and putting my feet up on the porch, turning the, uh, the bird bath on, and just hanging out in the afternoon. It gets hot by lunchtime. So without, without uh, belaboring this, or uh, I'm really itching. I've been waiting for this day for a couple of days now. The open road is calling. What could be better every every morning than checking out the new flowers that have just bloomed? Always a lot of fun working in the garden. The funny thing on Zinni is one plant and every flower is a different color. What a heavenly day. It's supposed to be in the 80s all day. Not go to 90. Of course, that remains to be seen. Oh my God, early in the morning like this, that coffee tastes so good. Oh my God, what a day this is going to be. There's always time that I wonder if doing all the work in the winter on these restorations pays off in the, land, in the end. And I think this one really paid off. We've really enjoyed riding this bike since we have the restoration almost finished.
Well, listen. Oh, they're okay. all coming in now. Oh, hey. I was here early. I ate everything. So everybody's coming in. I'll go get my bike. Okay. Where do you want to go? Where do you want? Oh, I don't care either. Oh, my God. Look at it. It matches his Ducati. <laughs> Wow. I thought he was going to like get all antsy or whatever. Nah. Oh, what happened to all the BMW bullshit you had? Shirts and he made me underwear and socks. He fucking made me oh, now you boy. moved up to Honda, huh? Now oh, I got a reliable God. machine. You know, you need bigger saddlebags. How many women can you put in those saddlebags? These are really nice and light, actually. Jeez. I don't have that much luggage when I go to Brazil for crying out loud. I scuff them, but that's what my scuff protects. What happens? That scuff oh, just peels off. See? Yeah, but why do you hit it anyway? No, that was the girl. Oh, the girl. <laughs> yeah, she, uh, she said it was you. Got my uh, more toys. You got? No, oh, look just at my, this crap. Just my uh, my RD needed. doesn't have this. I needed that. You know why? My battery died on me, so I had a. <laughs> It was telling me it's not. My battery on. died the other week right here. It died. I left the key on. I left the key on. <laughs> well, lucky I had that extra battery up in the pack. Saved my buttons. Oh, the thing that I told you to buy, right? The thing, yeah, 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 yeah. You, <laughs> Luciano. Luciano told you. It has a clock, but you probably can read it. has a clock on a dash, but he's got an auxiliary clock. This is the clock the girl tells him I have Listen, to be home at that time. Now look, yeah. Then know, that's the real time, and yeah. then that's the time in Brazil. Yeah. And so, this, what, why do you need all this stuff? You want to know the stuff? time? You got to get your key, turn it on, and Oh, God. The time. God I'm almighty. Getting, getting Look, this is the right way, Pete. See this clock I have? Look yeah. at the clock. Right over there. 902. Look, what time? And your clock doesn't even have the right time. There's my, that's, that's the correct, time. that's military time. See, that's military. Everything I do is military. Yeah, let's see who, let's see who's, From my days in the Marines. Let's see whose clock is accurate. Let's see. Okay, turn it on. 911 and you're at 915 911 and I'm 903 so I'm the most accurate <laughs> Glad we're not launching oh. missiles to Cuba or something here Oh uh, all the big shots are all rolling in the big money players the roulette wheel is getting cooked coffee is being brewed <laughs> It'll be great if anybody wants it. So you met this girl and you bought her a phone. I had to buy her a phone so we could keep in contact. Yeah. She didn't have a phone. Uh, she didn't have a phone. So I bought her a Did you buy her a motorcycle? No, she does ride. But <laughs> well, why did you buy her a motorcycle and not a phone? And here's what happened. I fell for her because she's Chilean. <laughs> she's Chilean? She's Chilean. What's Chilean? It's different than fucking Cuban. <laughs> Cuban? You don't want to go around with any Cuban girls. I let her uh, live with me for a live with days, me. couple days. <laughs> it turned out to be a couple weeks. <laughs> now she owns your house and won't let another, you back in. Month. Yeah, she threw your motorcycles out of the garage. Hair. Cut my hair. Look at her hair. Let me let's see that bald spot. Cut my hair. You know they make they make spray uh, spray dog yeah, hair that goes on there. And oh, but you're gonna be an old man when this and affair is over. She told me about her five kids. Five kids. I said, but they're all grown up. Yeah, yeah I'm grown. That means I, they're more maintenance. I talked to her. And said, I didn't talk to her. I said you should go see your mom and your son and everything. So she said, yeah. And I raced over to the computer, and I got a ticket. I bought a ticket for us, six hundred fifty dollars to go to Cuba. Uh, to go to Chile. Cuba, Chile. Chile. See, if you got a Chilean girlfriend, you don't go to Cuba. But you go to Chile. <laughs> Say, Pete, you gotta get this. Brett, we blew him in a little bit. She's, yeah. she's inviting me to Chile to go motorcycle riding because they have one of the greatest roads in Chile. Wow. So we're going. So Jose's going too? Is that how this is gonna play out? We're gonna sleep ass to ass. I go to Yellowstone. He's gonna buy a side con next so he can take the five kids in the side <laughs> Pete, you're one of a kind. We love you, baby, but you're one of a kind. So how did you leave the house this morning? I drugged her. <laughs> you drugged her? <laughs> so she couldn't did you have to drug her? No. What they, kind they of drugs? Off the record. What? <laughs> what? But Pete, nothing's off the record here. <laughs> when you're around, it's all over. I told her I'm going with the guys, and I'm going to be leaving early, and I, I'm the king. So I. <laughs> you're the king. <laughs> You're the king. What, when you play Monopoly? So back home, the bikes are gone. Yeah, I, I got out. <laughs> the bikes are out on the street and her kids are living and in the house. Home is in there. <laughs> and all their five kids are in the bed. Uh, 
And, and each one of the kids has a girlfriend with two kids. Oh, man. You cannot make this up. This man is famous. But anyway. In the massage parlors. At the massage parlors. Look who shows up. Look who shows up. Hey. No, no, no. I love it. You can't uh, I live. Got, I got a pickup now. Oh, oh. No, I'm actually looking to get rid of the trailer. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this is the trailer. Hey, Bob, this is a trailer for sale? Yep, trailer's for sale, man. Okay. Trailer's got the trailer. No reasonable offer refused, especially if you're in a mafia. <laughs> Pokey, buy the trailer. You don't need a trailer. Come on, come on, come on. Can I leave it at your house? Sure. I was going to buy it and leave it at your house, to be honest. Your wife will like that. Yeah, yeah. When's your birthday, man? He's going to buy you a gift. So we got here so early, we heard all the porno beat stories. This is a good way to mount the uh, the GoPro and the uh, what do you call it? the Valentine. About ten years ago, right? And so he was in the steamer trunk. He gives me a box. I'm worried. She gives me a box of. She says I can't open it. Here's a box of keys. I look at the keys. I pick first one I pick worked. <laughs> we open it up. Guess what's inside? What dead body? No. 40s and 50s porn stuff. 40s and 50s, it'd be right up your alley. No, but it was. She was going to throw them away. I said, oh, somebody might buy that. But they're pellets. They're, they, they, they don't round. They're uh, like a mushroom shaped type pellet. Whoever buys it, it's their, their problem. You know, I'm not going to go with them. Not who I thought it was. Oh yes, it is. No, no, no. Just say, get better, Luciano. <laughs> hey, the pizza's being delivered. <laughs>
first ride on the new foot pegs. They look like they work great. I expected they'd be good. They're, they're perfect. I stopped by Luciano's house, but I don't think he's ready to be videotaped. He's still not a, in, in prime condition, but Luciano, get well. Anyway, uh, I'm looking around and I'm thinking, wow, was it worth doing this restoration? You bet. A day like today, bike just ran like a Rolex watch. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.